Does that look flat to you? All right, whatever. What is up, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. I'm Lloyd, and I got a question from this guy who's named Never Not Phil. <laughs> he says, Lloyd, I've been out of the game for a while and lost my mojo due to a long-standing, long-lasting relationship. There's this really cute girl at a restaurant I go to pick up food sometimes. I can tell she finds me attractive by the amount of time she stares at me. My question is, how do I approach her while she's working? Keep in mind, she's a server slash waitress. Okay, dude. You came... To the right place because not only am I going to give you uh, a way to how to pick this girl up, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process for how to pick up or get a girl's phone number who's a waitress, server, one of those people. I'm going to tell you how to know if she's actually interested in you and how to implement this in your everyday life. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to say about uh, waitresses and servers is that these people are in very social, high fluctuating environments. There's a lot of churn, there's a lot of things happening, a lot of guys are hitting on them. So you have to stand out from the crowd. Most of the time when women are in these jobs, they're kind of looking down, they're not thinking about meeting a cute guy or meeting a guy that they might like they're thinking about getting done with work they're thinking about oh is my boss gonna yell at me or that table's been really mean or I can't wait to get off work so I can watch Netflix they're thinking about those things they're not so much thinking about the interactions that they're having or whether they like a guy or not so you have to take her out of that mode you have to take her out of the work mindset where she starts uh, starts seeing you as not just a customer but as someone potentially that something else could happen with so the way that you do that is by asking a simple question and that's hey how's work going for you today I ask this all the time you'd be surprised man it's a very simple question that a lot of people don't get asked especially if they're in this industry most people don't get asked this I'm telling you bouncers even strippers too dude like people just don't ask them how they're doing they kind of just like here's my food here's my money <laughs> you know they just want to get get it over with and done and they're not treated as nicely as uh, a lot of people would think in fact they're always being the person that's being nice to other people they're always taking the t care and time for other people and it's rare that somebody will give that back to them so if you do that, you're already putting yourself in the top 10% of guys right there already. So ask her how her, how her day's going, um, or her work's going for her. And she might say something like, oh, you know, like, oh my God, it's been so long, like, uh, it's so much to do, so busy, blah, 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 blah. If she's talking a lot, that's good. But if she's kind of giving you just like, oh, it's fine, and just giving you like a typical work answer, sometimes I'll say, uh, I'll be a little bit more assertive about this, and I'll say, well, don't give me your typical work answer. How are things going, you know? And sometimes that gets them to open up too. But if they're still closed off after this, I would just kind of leave it. And uh, you know, if she wants to be in a bad mood or if she wants to be in her work mode, that's fine. You're not going to force her to. But uh, try and get her out of that mode. And a lot of times this works with just those two simple things. The other thing that helps you get her out of the work mindset and stop, stop seeing you as just a customer is if you uh, learn her name. Ask for her name and use it. If her name's Kelly or something like that, say, hey, Kelly, can we get some water at our table, please? Okay, cool. Thanks, Kelly use your name a lot okay so those two things really help you kind of get her out of the work mindset and then after you're done doing that start talking to her start talking to her about maybe like what kind of food that she really recommends in the menu i like to say well what do you really what's the best thing for you what kind of food are you into what, what do you think is the best here okay cool you like that oh nice yeah where are you from are you from around here yeah yeah i know that spot that spot's pretty cool so just trying to make casual conversation um if you haven't seen my video on five questions I ask every single girl uh, when I'm out, read that. I usually go through a few of those questions just to kind of figure out if she's from the area, if she just moved, if um, maybe this is maybe she's only, this is only a temporary job, and you know maybe she wants to do something else. Just get to know her a little bit. You know, have those have that good conversation. You don't have to learn everything at once. Remember, she's your server, she's your waitress. She's gonna come back. So don't be too eager. Don't feel like you have to do a bunch of stuff right when she's taking your order and like delay her a bunch. Um, you can it, the conversations can happen progressively because she's probably gonna be at your table three to five times at least. Um, and the more she comes back, the better, obviously. So that you don't have to rush things. But do try and get to know her. Maybe tell her about what you're doing. Get her, Let her get to know you a little bit as well, too. So what I like to do at this point now is you have to find a way to ask for the phone number or get her contact information or something, the social media, anything. So what I like to do at this point is talk about kind of if the dinner was at 8 p.m., like it's a Friday night, I usually tell her what I'm doing later um, or ask her when she gets off. If she gets off at like... 
you know, 11. She has to leave work at 11. That's pretty good. She can go out and have drinks after that. She's probably thinking about doing that if it's a Friday or Saturday night. And so I'll say, hey, Kelly, what are you doing later? Or like, you know, what uh, what time do you get off work? And she would be like, oh, I get off at 11. I'm like, cool. Well, we're going to this awesome place. It's like you'd love it. Uh, this cool bar, it's this swanky area, very classy, and I just talk up the place or talk up the event, maybe it's a party that I'm going to, or just something, anything. I'll pull that out of my butt if I have to. And then uh, I'll say, hey, you know, we're going to this, you, you'd love it, um, I, I'll text you the address later. And if she, well, if she seems interested, then I'll say, oh, cool, well, I'll text you the address later. And then she's like, okay, well, let me give you my phone number. So then I give her the phone and we do the phone number. Usually I'm going to do this in an area where she's not going to be seen by a bunch of people at the table or if everyone's kind of doing their own thing and they're not really paying attention. We're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Sometimes it can work. But typically what I'd like to do is I'd like to go maybe like catch her while she's near the bathrooms or catch her while she's near the the register where she's ringing people up. A lot of times there's not that many people around. It's just the two of you. And that's the better place that you want to be to ask for the phone number. She doesn't want to put on a show. She doesn't want to be seen by a bunch of people. And she especially doesn't want to be seen giving her phone number out around her boss or around other employees. So you have to be conscious of that. And try and ask for the phone number in an area where it's going to be a little bit... Um, or it's going to be a little bit quieter. And the way I ask for the phone number is like, I talk about the event and if she sounds interested in doing that, well, now I have a reason to give her the phone number because I can text her the address or text her uh, about the event. Um, but you can just ask for the phone number anyway. Just say, hey, I thought you were really cool. Or I'd love to continue this conversation with you. Can I get your phone number? So that's another way to get it as well. But anyway, it works. Just try and do it in an area where there's not. she's not going to be surrounded by people and she's not going to feel embarrassed or self-conscious because she probably has a rule or maybe there might be some sort of rule or unspoken taboo where you're not supposed to date uh, customers or clients at the restaurant. So she has to be... Just to be a little sneaky about that. Um, and so I also get asked about this too, like what time are the best times to go in to like talk to a wait waitress or like flirt with her um, and get her phone number possibly. And a lot of people say it's on the off hours, which is typically from three to five. And this is because you, if there's not that many customers, she has more time to talk to you. The more time a girl is going to talk to you, the more time she's going to invest in the conversation, the better your chances are of getting a phone number and getting her out on a date. But when in these types of scenarios, I think it's like there are positives and there's negatives to it. So yeah, sure, it's, it can be great when you have a chance to talk to them and make a bigger, better connection. That's awesome too. But I also think there's advantages to asking her in the environments that I said around like if you're getting dinner around 8 p.m. on a Friday, because typically people go out after work during these periods of time, it's really easy to get them out and get her to go to something fun. And that's the, the times that I've had success are actually in those areas where I said, hey, there's this cool party that you should come to. Um, and then, you know, sometimes they show up and I've had some success with that. But also too, they're going to be very, very busy at these hours because that's like the peak dinner time where there's like everyone's going out to eat. The place is packed. So she's probably going to be like in between eight different tables or something like that. So it's going to be difficult to get her attention and make a and make a connection uh, in that way. So there's positives and there's negatives to both sides. But I would say if you're trying to make a better connection, find out when her off hours are and go then. But if you kind of just want to want her to come out with you and you're not too concerned about whether she comes out or not, and it's cool if she doesn't, or it's cool if she does, but also cool if she doesn't, then I, you know, the evening time is fine if you want to do that. I would say too, a lot of guys I've seen, you know, they write the phone number on the receipt, like with a smiley face or like a big tip or something. Uh, I haven't really seen much success with that man, and to be honest with you, I usually just advocate for my students to always ask for the phone number themselves. If you're handing out your phone number to girls, typically the only girls that are going to message you back are girls that are like way below your mate value. So, um, in my opinion, I would say probably getting her, getting the phone number, and you having the power, not her, is the better option if you can. The last message that I'm going to give here is how to find out if a girl is actually interested in you because you're going to be talking to her and you're going to you're not going to know if she's just being friendly, if it's her job to smile, hey, cool, awesome, how are you? If she's doing that just because it's her job or if she's actually interested in you. And I'd say the only way to for sure know is if she meets up with you. And this is kind of true for women in general. You know, women will act like they're into you. They're very flirtatious. They're very seductive uh, because it helps them get what they want. But 
the only way to know if she's actually someone that you can count on that's going to be interested in you that you can make progress with is if she meets up with you in person so don't get too invested in this in this woman unless she's actually agreed to meet you in person because i find a lot of guys what they'll do is because they don't have a whole lot of options they think that the waitress or the bartender or whoever it is wants to sleep with them just because it's their job to be friendly and they end up you know developing a crush and they do these feelings and you know they get really hurt when they find out or they see that the girl is not actually into them and they were just you know they were just a paying customer so Protect yourself from that, you guys. Um, a lot of times that this doesn't work out, but sometimes it does. You know, I've had a lot of success with it, and this is the best way to do it. So if you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you had a situation where you picked up a waitress or a bartender or something like that, I'll probably do a video where I talk about how to pick up a bartender. Um, then put it in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it, man. If you're interested in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, shoot me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, y'all. Good luck out there. Yeah.